This is Adrian Manns. If you'd like a copy of my book, Around the Horn, A Trader's Guide to Consistently Scoring in the Markets, visit TraderInsight.com where you'll receive a 30% discount and three-day shipping. That's the best price anywhere, only from Trader Insight. From Los Angeles, TraderInsight.com presents Dr. Adrian Manns in the war room and at the helm with today's look at stocks and sectors on the radar. For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, and this is Stocks and Sectors on the Radar for Wednesday, May 20th, 2009. On Tuesday, Dow Jones Industrials down 29 and a quarter to close at 8474.85. We had 1,811 stocks advance, 1,219 declined, and NYSE total volume was light at 1.34 billion shares. The S&P 500 was down one and a half at 908.13. NASDAQ 100 up five and a third at 1398.05, and the NASDAQ comp was up two points to close at 1734.54. Most economists would agree that housing data is going to have to improve significantly before the rest of the economy can get on its feet, and the data released by the Commerce Department on Tuesday were anything but encouraging. Housing starts were down almost 13% and coupled with disappointing guidance from Home Depot kept the market in a tight backdoor slider setup throughout the session. That's still a buy side pattern but it's not anywhere near as encouraging as the fastball expansion of range and volume that we put in after Lowe's surprised on Monday and sparked a 235 point rally. The VIX moved lower again indicating that some of the uncertainty about market performance might be filtering out and that certainly raises the possibility of upside action over the next several sessions as money parked on the sidelines is put to work by investors who think the worst might be behind us. Looking at Tuesday's late day bias though, sellers hit the market pretty hard into the close and internals deteriorated as the Dow dropped from 85.30 to 84.70 in 30 minutes of trading on increasing volume. That's definitely not a bullish sign for Wednesday trading. We're going to keep an eye on the overnight futures, see what the reaction move is, see if we get a bootstrap into the open, or if the bias continues into early trading and retraces some of the Monday expansion. Now, we had two on the radar for Tuesday, both triggered. BRS stopped us out flat, and DreamWorks managed a scratch and a trip to the profit target. Really nothing to look at by way of review there. I've got four on the radar for Wednesday. As always, I'm relying on the market and the sectors to be moving in the direction of these trades, in other words, to the downside, in order to give us some momentum and push us through to these tight profit targets. First is Canadian National Railway Company. This is ticker symbol CNI, switch hitter, short side setup. I'll look for an entry at $39.99 per share with an initial profit target at $39.65. Next one is in the financials. This is HDFC Bank Limited. This is in the commercial banks. Double header, short side setup, ticker symbol HDB, 91.30 on the entry with an initial target at $90.88. In the consumers, I've got Royal Caribbean Cruises Limited, ticker symbol RCL. Once again, switch hitter, short side setup, 1536 will be my entry trigger with an initial profit target at $14.97. And finally, in the rails, Union Pacific Corporation. This is ticker symbol UNP. Short side switch hitter setup, $47.87 on the entry, $47.46 on the initial profit target. If you've got any questions, shoot me an email, Adrian at TraderInsight.com. Use protective stops on every trade and have a great trading day on Wednesday. <laughs>